Hey everyone, this is Jody from Joderson Art, and today we're going to be working on a 10 by 10 inch round using the Sherwin Williams Color to Go. Really enjoying the different colors, a lot of different opportunities with this particular paint, and everything moves really nice. So, the first tip I'm going to give you is it's a super messy container. So, you want to get a cup and take the lip of the cup and wedge it under the opening so that you don't spill it all over the place. So I'm going to give this a little spin to see how much paint I have and I take a look and I don't think I have enough. In retrospect I did but you know it's very disappointing um, when you don't put enough paint on and then you're trying to get the paint to the edges and it's an epic fail. So we're working today with a mixture of golden paints and pigments as well. The first paint I'm going to use is uh, one of the Fluid Art Company's Twilight. It's one of the little piggies. Really pretty colors. The next paint I'm going to be using is that Vavoom Red by Color Art. I use it a lot in my paintings. The next color I'm using is Kiwi. This is another Color Art pigment. Up next, we have the Pearlescent White by Golden. I don't usually use this color, but I was really happy with it when the painting was finished. The next color I used was a Boom Stain Gel and Teal. The other color I just used was Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. And last was the Vavoom in Watermelon, the Boom Stain Gel. So we're gonna get ready to swipe. I recently tried one of the metal swiping tools and I just must have a heavy hand because I didn't do that well and I dragged all the paint through. So I'm sticking with my old go-to cardboard. If it's not broken, don't try to fix it, right? So just need a few swipes here. And right away I can see I have some really beautiful colors coming up and some good cells, some nice big cells too in the middle. I actually like that. So I'm gonna to try to blow out and see if I can get a little bit more um, color to come through. The nice thing about this is when we're doing this and you know, sometimes when we're blowing on the painting to try to get more cells to come up, we blow through into the pillow. And the worst thing that happens here is you get some more blue um, instead of that white, so. It's one of the things I do like about the, the colors as a pillow. Sorry about the ring light. I'm new to this and so as you'll see in my video I have some issues with it. So I'm just spinning it a little bit guys just to open it up and now I'm going to start tilting. First I'm going to fight with paper towels and um, I'm basically losing my will to live. All right we got this set and now I'm going to start to tilt. Oh, well, first I'm gonna play with the lamp because I have no idea what I'm doing. So as you can see, we got some really cool stuff in there. And I'm not a great tilter. Um, I admire those who do tilt really well. I don't, I tend to overwork the canvas when I do this, but we're gonna give it a try. My original thought was to leave some negative space, but I had some flocculation going on at the bottom and I wanted to pour all that off. So I decided pretty quickly that I was just going to oh, tilt the whole thing and we weren't going to have any negative space today. Now if you see that pearlescent white, that really popped up and came through. It really looked pretty on the painting. I was very surprised, but pleasantly surprised. Um, see it in the corner there? I still have that flocculation, so I want to try to move that paint off. Always my fear is, you know, overworking the canvas and losing half the good stuff that we put on. So, yeah, I'm going to stop right there because I'm pretty pleased with this painting. Lots of super fun colors. And it was just a fun painting to do. Swipes are always fun. So, thanks for checking out my video today. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. this world to see better days.